is in a restaurant. Willa is there also. Uh, Willa, played by uh, Tim Oliphant's real-life daughter, uh, Vivian. And uh, Raylan tells her to go up to the room and appears to then take Mansell outside and kick his ass. Again, I think there's, there's, a, there's a very quick smash cut here that I suspect is hiding some shenanigans. But, um, but a couple of things that I wanted to note here, right? So first... She's got a nose ring. She wears Guns N' Roses t-shirts. And also, she's sitting there at the restaurant with Mansell. He's got his arm around her, and she doesn't look scared at all. She's got the smirk on her face, and she looks kind of like a smart ass. And so I'm wondering if she's really in peril there, or if she is encouraging Mansell. That's all the things uh, indicative, uh, indicative of an absentee dad. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Aside from, Three uh, more years, she'll be on the ball. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is funny because I wrote like, oh, like, oh, okay, we've got to make sure that we signal over and over again that she's a rebel. You know, she probably doesn't like her cop dad, you know, uh, nose ring, Guns N' Roses t-shirts rebellion it's, a, it's amazing that guns and roses teacher is like it's almost like a uh, iconic now like that that whole uh, oh yeah the, the the graphic on there yeah yeah the cross yeah i've yeah. got i've got the uh i've got a, a gray version of that i picked up at the uh the concert a few years ago so uh but, but I, yeah I my wiener think... kid radar is going bananas on this man. yeah <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think what you think like uh it'll turn out that uh because i I don't know. I mean, there's a rebellious teenager there, obviously, with the the way she's dressed and everything that you indicated. But do you think she's just, uh, you know, like uh, just to fuck around with her dad as far as like. uh... I think there's a little bit of that. But I also think that at some point she's going to be in legitimate peril. And I really, really hope it's not the climax of the 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 series. Right. I I I really the way that the book kind of handles it, I think, was done very, very well. When you throw in the kind of child in peril situation, I think uh, you, you're giving it more than it needs and you're introducing a plot line that you don't need to introduce. But mm. if they do, if they resolve that relatively early on, like if Raylan, you know, like if, you know, episode five or whatever, Raylan says, hey, you're going to Miami right now <laughs> and puts her on a plane down with her down to go with her mom because things are getting too dangerous in Detroit then then I'm okay with it, right? But if it's if it's like the final scene of episode eight is him saving uh Willa, then I'm gonna be a little annoyed, I think. Oh <laughs> well yeah, I can see that, you know, like maybe well we we don't know exactly how many episodes she's appears in and all that other stuff. Yeah. But uh, you know IMDB is a little light on details at this point. It's got basically everybody in three episodes. Um so I think there must have been some screeners that have gone out. That allowed people mm. to confirm, but I don't think anybody's seen more than three episodes at this point, other than, you know, the the brass at FX. Yeah, yeah. So, and then, uh, all right, so we'll wrap this up here with the rest. Hey, Mostly just music, I think. I ain't gonna sleep at night, this son of a bitch wins. Hey, I don't know what you think you're doing. You wanna play? Let's play. You want a shooting match? Let's go. Yeah, so that's that. So there's a scene of Raylan with his shirt off and Carolyn using the sink in the bathroom. So there's an implication there that uh, Raylan and Carolyn Wilder engage in some adult activity at some point. And then we get a bunch of quick cuts with Mansell pistol whipping someone, Raylan kicking in a door, Carolyn confronting him. I don't know what you think you're doing. And there's a car crash at some point. And then we get that scene at the end, uh, which culminates with Raylan putting his badge on the table and asking if Mansell wants a, wants a shooting match. And, uh, and that's, how the, uh, that's how the trailer wraps up. So, look, I'm... I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic the only thing i didn't like was the wiener kid element and so i i'm i'm excited about this i really hope yeah i, I was i was watching this and watching justified because we were prepping for for the episode we're about to record here and 
I was thinking to myself how vital the character of Boyd Crowder was to the success of Justified. And I wonder if Mansell can hold that up. And and I really hope he can. Um, but it's a it's a tall order, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. And even the the tone is is different. You know, it's in Detroit and all that other stuff. So there's there's parts that I don't know if it's necessarily that it has overcome, but it does. It puts it in a different. Um, it, it's a different frame as far as what we're used to or we're accustomed to. Uh, yeah, and I think that the fish out of water element will sort of be fun uh, a little bit, right? Because you, you had the you had the opposite of that with uh, with Justified, where you had Raylan kind of leaving Miami and being put back into sort of his normal environment, his where he felt familiar and comfortable. He didn't want to be there, but he took to it. Um, yeah. Whereas here he's being thrown into an urban environment where he doesn't necessarily know people. Although I will say that if he's been a marshal there in Detroit for a while now, then that sort of changes that equation a little bit because he'll be more familiar with, with how things work and who people are and, and that sort of thing. And people will know him, the cowboy marshal, right? People, the, the, they'll know the guy who walks around in cowboy boots and a cowboy in Detroit. <laughs> in Detroit, yes, yeah, yeah. That isn't uh, an eccentric uh, billionaire or sports team owner or something. <laughs> so, anything else on the uh, the full trailer before we get into the teasers? The teasers are a lot more of the same, and so we'll we'll talk about them much more quickly here. Nah, no, I got nothing. Nope. So the new beginnings teaser, that's this one here. I'm just going to let the whole thing play and we'll talk uh, we'll talk about it. Marshal, welcome to Detroit. Detective, meet Raylan Givens. What's up, Slim? This ought to be good. He's a killer and he enjoys it. He ain't got cash, we got ourselves a problem. You want a shooting match? Let's go. FX is justified. City Primeval premieres July 18th on FX. Stream on Hulu. So not a whole lot new in that teaser. A lot of the same stuff from the trailer. We do get a shout out to Elmore Leonard, which is great. Um, more shots of Detroit, more shots of the locals. There's one new scene that I saw of a bunch of SUVs uh, rolling down a dirt road. And I think that's this bust that they do in the beginning of the trailer where Raylan, uh, Raylan says, then oh, you're screwed. I think yeah, that's them on their way to that bust. Mm -hmm. But yeah. uh, I don't know if that's like right at the beginning of the series or if it's like midway through or what. But then we also get another shot of Mansell walking into a building with blood on his face and a pistol in his hand. So um, do you think that it, there's, that's a play? Like you said, the, I don't know what you were referring to as far as Elmore Leonard, but the, um, the, there was a line in there. He, he goes, Oh, like Raylan, Oh, he likes to kill people or something like that. Uh, he kills people and he likes it. And he likes it. That's yeah. similar to what Boyd says to uh, Raylan as far as, oh, you like to shoot bad people. Right. Yeah. It, it Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little uh, bit. Um, the shout out to Elmore Leonard was what they actually said, you know, based on a book by Elmore Leonard at the, at the, uh, in, oh, in the beginning right. okay. of that teaser. Yeah. Uh, Okay. That's all I meant, but, but yeah, that's an interesting, uh, kind of parallel to draw. I, I, I think we're going to be, as we are watching this, we're going to be drawing all sorts of little parallels to, uh, to Boyd and interactions that he and Raylan have had. I, I wonder though, how many interactions, uh, Mansell and Raylan are going to have, because I feel like if they're really trying to apprehend him, that, uh, that it's going to be, it's going to be tough to, uh, uh, for them to have a lot of forced interactions of uh, conversations like, like Raylan and Boyd have had. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. The next one is called the fender bender teaser and, uh, I'll go ahead and play that. Oh, look who's here. The hat shows up when all the fun's done. Heard there was a fender bender. Good afternoon. I'm looking for my friend Raylan Gibbons. Kill, sir. Your client kills people. Then prove it. Get it. You want to play? Let us play. Anytime you want. FX is justified. City Prime Evil premieres July 18th on FX. Stream on Hulu. 
So again, you can definitely hear some kind of audio shenanigans being cut together there. You can hear like differences in volume, like mid sentence as things are being said. But uh, but we've got a car crash open. It's the same car crash I think from the trailer. Um, and we meet Norbert, who's played by uh, Norbert Leo Butts. He was in uh, Fosse Verdon. He was in Better Living Through Chemistry, which if you haven't seen Better Living Through Chemistry, you need to see that movie. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, and uh, it's got one of the best actors. It's got Sam Rockwell in it, who's one of the best actors, uh, I think, alive right now. And uh, he plays a, a small town pharmacist who, uh, who starts uh, using some of his own products. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Olivia Wilde's in it too, and uh, Ray Liotta. I think it's Ray Liotta, or maybe Alec Baldwin. I can't remember which, but uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's quite good. I enjoy it a lot. <clears throat> Better Living Through Chemistry is that movie. He plays a, a DEA agent in that movie, but uh, he calls Raylan the Hat, which would suggest that there's some familiarity there, right? Which means. Again, I think my theory that Raylan had been transferred to Detroit at some point after Miami is probably accurate um, because there's some familiarity with with who he is. He's not just showing up out of nowhere. And uh, and then we get Mansell asking for Raylan at the front desk of a hotel. Um, don't know what that's all about. Uh, that doesn't really have a whole lot of connection to the books. So I'll... Uh, yeah, if he was, uh, maybe it kind of throws us off, but, uh, you know, if he was assigned there uh, to Detroit, then he wouldn't have a hotel, or well, I guess he could. Well, that's a good I point, too. Yeah, that's a great mm-hmm. point. Yeah, why is he in a hotel? Why is Will in a hotel if he's assigned to Detroit? That's 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 a great counter to he's been, he's been assigned to Detroit. So it's a weird... It's weird. I, I'm very eager to find out what's going on. I want to watch it tomorrow. I want this <laughs> yeah. damn show. I want to watch the whole thing. I want to shoot it directly into my veins. Uh, I, yeah. So It's uh, three more weeks. I know. Three more weeks. Uh, and then uh, we've got two more teasers. This one's called Specially Requested. Marshall Graylin Givens. You've been special requested. How are you supposed to be in that hat? Travis Tritt. This ought to be good. You want a shooting match? Let's go. FX is justified. City Prime Evil premieres July 18th on FX. So we've got again the uh, the shooting match line. There's a couple of new things here. The first the first thing I want to mention that audio cut at the beginning where it goes Marshall Raylan Givens is not my audio cut. It, it's the normal quality of audio cut I do, but it's not mine. It's it's that's FX's. <laughs> that was definitely pieced together. <laughs> but uh, somebody's not getting an Emmy for sound. For no, <laughs> not for not for sound editing for their trailers. That's for, the trailer. for sure. <laughs> But uh, this is the one where where Mansell's on the couch where Wendell is in the full trailer. Uh, so a lot of shenanigans going on here. We also get a new character in this trailer for about a tenth of a second. We get a shot of Marin Ireland as uh, Maureen Downey and Marin Ireland from uh, Sneaky Pete, and among other things. Um, she's nervously glancing over her shoulder in what looks like a parking garage. Uh, so, so we finally get a shot of her. She hasn't been on camera at all in any of these trailers. So that's an interesting sort of thing to consider also. Like, does she not have any lines? What's, you know, are they keeping her role, you know, secret? I don't what, I don't know what's going on there. And then uh, we also see Mansell in Carolyn's house at one point, pinning her in her kitchen, pinning her against the wall with a gun, which I think is emphasizing that, hey, not, as, not all is as it appears with uh, Carolyn Wilder. She's, she's a relatively reluctant accomplice here. So anything else from that one? Uh, no, I don't got anything for that. All right. So we got our last one. I'm Deputy U.S. Marshal Raylan Givens. Talk to me. I am not opening this door. I'm not sure that was entirely necessary, but okay. Sometimes I guess it takes an angry white guy to catch an angry white guy. You want a shooting match? Let's go. 
FX is justified. City Prime Evil premieres July 18th on FX. Stream on Hulu. And again, these things are cut together so quickly that, that it's hard to get.